Hey, I'm Kelly Kearns. This is DaFest and we're here to tell you a little bit about what's taking place this June bank holiday weekend. If you're looking for something to do, there's loads to do for all of the family. We have Beat on the Boyne and we've got the Dragon Boat races taking place all along the Boyne River, right beside our very own Scotch Hall. We have here with us Sandra Goff and Owen Darcy, the organisers of the event. We're just going to ask them a little bit about what's taking place. So Sandra, you are the head honcho for the Dragon Boat race, is that right, yeah? Yes. Brilliant. So tell me about it. Well, dragon boats are 40 foot long boats with a dragon's head on the front, a dragon's tail on the back, a drummer sitting on the front and 16 paddlers. Wow. We have 20 teams all raising money for local charities, including So Sad, Homeless Aid, uh, Vincent de Paul, the Abacus School, just to name a few. But there are a lot more charities actually benefiting from the dragon boat racing. Brilliant. And spectators can watch it absolutely. Absolutely free. No way. And where, where is this actually taking place it's from? It's going to take place from De Lacey Bridge and uh, the finish line will be just uh, past the D Hotel where the big green giant boy at the Drogheda Port. No, yeah, absolutely. Um, that's yeah, brilliant. going to be the finish line. And the, there will be a two boat racing. There are challenges. And there's a pub challenge. There's a business challenge. Great. There's a sports challenge. And obviously there's we're going to be awarding another trophy for the team that raises the most money for charity. That's that's a great idea. And is there any, uh, oh, well, are there any businesses in particular that would be at loggerheads really that, you know, that are going up against each other? Might um, be a bit of crack to watch them. <laughs> well, it's more the pubs that are, are have, have come on board. There's 10 pubs actually in, in the pub challenge. Very competitive. So they? they're very, very competitive. <laughs> and everywhere I'm going, I'm being asked questions about how do I do this and uh, how yeah. do I do that? <laughs> and depending on whether I like the pub or not, I might be giving them the right information or the wrong information. But we'll see on so the day. So what you're telling me is bribes will be accepted. Bribes there will be go. accepted there greatly, you go. yes. Brilliant. Very so, much. Now, Owen, you are involved with the uh, the beat and the boyne end of things of mm. the organising of all the bands. Now, this has been going for, this is coming up to three years now. Three years now, yeah. Brilliant. Uh, so tell me a bit about what's going on on the day for everybody. On the day, it's the Boyne, Beat and the Boyne concert will kick off at two o'clock after the racing on the Sunday. And we've got lined up 18 local acts. Oh, sorry, we have one from Kildare, the source of the Boyne. Um, and they won the Battle of the Boyne, or Beating the Boyne Compet Battle of the Bands competition in McPhail's. And they're called She's a Beauty, but they're going to be accompanied by some of the great acts that are around Drogheda at the moment. And okay. we know we've fantastic live talent here in the town. So we we're kicking off at 2 p.m. with the enemies. We have Juicer, the Herb Porter Collective. We have Baby A, who won the School Stars TLT competition. Oh, brilliant. So they're very good. There's a good mix of bands. You know, we've got young bands, middle bands, and older bands. <laughs> and, um, middle bands. <laughs> most of these guys have played before. We have a couple of people who are uh, singer songwriters on their own, Donald Quinn and Sarah O'Brien. Okay. Um, but most of the other acts then are, are bands, different genres, Boyne, Boyne Valley Blues Band, um, Rap Scallion, bringing a bit of Irish Tread. And there's loads of rockers there. So it's going to be heaving for the whole weekend. Oh. So when I say when I say the whole weekend, that's it's not just happening on like one particular day. It's happening over a couple of days. We've another few acts taking place in other venues. Well, a lot of the pubs, cafes, and restaurants and hotels have come on board with the festival, the okay. Beat in the Boyne Festival as well. So they they're putting on entertainment from Thursday to Monday, mm -hmm. and um, we have Barack Obama's the best friend, Ryan Sheridan, up in the <laughs> Barbican Centre. He did a wonderful rendition of Jigsaw um, on the main stage. That's that's Right, yeah. That's it. So he's here um, as our headline act for the for the weekend. He's here on Friday night. Doors open at 8 p.m. Great. Um, then we have Darren Emerson, ex Underworld, uh, playing oh, over slipping. in the Purple Room. A, a Milk Sound System have brought them in. Excellent. Brought him in over. Um, what else have we got? Um, Joe Rooney is playing up in the Black Bull on Friday night as well. If you fancy a bit of comedy rather than music. Great. And then. On Monday, there's a big fundraiser. Even, we're already raising loads of money on the Boyne, but yep. um, down in Grenons, they have six acts, including the Enemies, Rap Scallion, some of the bands that are appearing on the Beat in the Boyne stage. All the local acts. All local acts, Great. yes. And they, they, they'll be appearing in, in Grenons. There'll be a barbecue. It's a family fun day as well. That's With brilliant. face painting and putting on the green. And now, you're saying this is a family day. Like, can the adults kind of get painted up and... Yes, well, <laughs> all, they, all the adults will be encouraged to uh, take part and participate Brilliant. in the children's activities. And dig deep. And dig deep. So essentially the, the whole idea for the weekend, from what I'm, I'm gathering, is it's charity, it's local, it's all about here, it's what's, what's going on in Drogheda, what's great in Drogheda, and it's something for everybody to do. Yep. Exactly. Pretty much. 
be part of it, as they say. Be part of it. You can't say much fairer than that. Because, as you said earlier, the uh, in famous words of Barack Obama is Fader Lynn. I think that's going to go down in history. Oh, my mm -hmm. gosh. Well, okay, everybody. That is it for now. You know what's taking place in the June Bank Holiday Weekend. As Sandra said, come along and be a part of it. And if you want to get some more information, keep looking out on DAFES over the coming week for more updates and rundowns for the Beat on the Boy. I'm Kelly Kearns for DAFest. I'll talk to you soon.